Uh, Look at, listen to this. The homeless agency in Seattle wants nearly $12 billion to help solve that problem. But they just offered employees unlimited vacations on the taxpayer's dime. I don't get it. We need a Seattle guy and we've got one. His name is Jason Rance. He's with me now. Jason, get right at it. What's going on here? Yeah, so the King County Regional Homelessness Authority, they are basically in charge of solving homelessness in the entire county, but obviously it's driven in large part by Seattle. Every single full-time employee is offered unlimited vacation, which is absurd on its face. You have people who are in very high-level positions don't even get that kind of perk. But it stings just a little bit more when you realize they just asked for nearly $12 billion to solve homelessness over the next five years, which is, of course, again, an absurd number for them to put out there for a budget. They are certainly not going to get that. Since they've been in charge, homelessness has gotten worse, not better, because they don't actually believe in putting people in shelter. They refuse to do sweeps. The only time they'll do that is if you can guarantee that that person's going to get permanent housing. So if you get them a studio apartment, well, then they'll go ahead and start sweeping. But why the unlimited vacations? I don't get that. Yeah, I I think it's because they've got a certain group of people that they're trying to convince to work for them. I think this is part of the the complaint has been that these kinds of workers don't get treated well. So in addition to the six figure salaries, now they get unlimited vacation. I've got to get this one in. Listen to this. Netflix just canceled their children's show, Ridley Jones. It featured a non-binary bison. That's a bison that doesn't identify as male or female. You got that? Jason's still with me. The show was for children as young as two years old. Why are they targeting kids like this? I think it's because they want to change the culture. I, I, I think we've seen this over and over and over again, where you've got entertainment, whether it's Netflix or elsewhere, that they're trying to introduce these concepts to kids early on so that they start to adopt the language and adopt the belief that gender doesn't actually exist, that it's fluid, that you yourself, as you're watching okay. this as a young kid, you don't have to be a girl. I wish I had more time, Jason, but I don't, so I've got to cut it off. But that was a... A very interesting story, Jason Rance. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> it was. Stuart. Still